Hello, thank you for the introduction and the kind words, Alfred. Uh, I hope everybody can hear me and I will share now my screen. And um, yes, it is right that uh, we are using Elias here in Erlangen. Um, but the examples I like to show today, um, uh, I will show not inside our learning management system, Elias. Um, I will show it directly from uh, static um, HTML pages. Um, what I'm doing, I'm um, teaching mass courses for engineers in the first two years. And here I try to explain uh, some mathematical uh, concepts um, using JSX graph applets. And so uh, it is like a small roadshow of uh, different uh, features I'm using inside uh, my teaching. Um, one point in the in the first term in the first semester usually is the linear algebra and everybody knows uh, what happens if we are using um, and introducing uh, linear algebra elsewhere a matrix will will appear and then we write some nice symbols on the blackboard or uh, on the slides and um, then some nice words will appear like range and kernel but what does it mean and all the pictures only uh, handling with uh, single points are not so very um, intuitive and then we like to explain even what what is a subspace and we say yes uh, the range of a linear algebra is a subspace and even the kernel is a vector space and uh, everything like that but but what does it mean and this is the first collection of um, applets i like to show you um, I decided not to use single points uh, to introduce as a mapping. I will use a polygon with four um, vertices and then all these vertices are draggable um, and everybody will see what the linear mapping will do and how it will act on this polygon. And using the sliders, I can directly change uh, the mapping or inside uh, some uh, uh, and close interval. But the advantage is that I even can preset uh, some um, uh, some mappings, like the identity mapping, um, maybe preset or a rotation um, uh, with a certain. Uh, angle phi or even uh, rotation and the scaling may, is possible or something um, uh, like that. It's called Scherung in, in German. I don't know the proper English word uh, from that. And then one can see and can uh, check out what will happen uh, with that. This and even is a um, mapping to zero is possible and Ongoing from that, one can discuss uh, what each uh, of these um, entry will, uh, what is the meaning of each entry in the in the uh, matrix, and one can even uh, check uh, all this mapping with squares or even with unique square or something like that. The same is possible, uh, specialized uh, and dedicated to rotation only. This is uh, another applet I like to use. And here you will see I will um, use the, um, I will use, I will write down the matrix. Uh, if I change the rotation angle, everybody can see what happens. And I think uh, this is much more illustrative in that way. And even some angles are preset. But what is the, diff is, is a, is a problem in the setting? Here we always have um, the 
range of uh, our mapping, which is uh, shown here, and the domain of the range in one coordinate system. And sometimes this uh, it's a bit confusing for the students. And so I decided to share it and to use uh, two boards uh, to introduce and to show what happens uh, in the mapping. So I have here on the left side uh, the domain of my mapping and on the right side I have the range. And now I can drag a point around and I can see, okay, something will happen in the range. And if I say, okay, here I have a target point and I will look what is the um, origin of this point, I can drag around and then I can see, okay, this uh, seems to be um, the solution if I try to, to solve this, the corresponding uh, system of linear equations. And now I can even choose some preset um, mappings. Um, and what one can explain here is what happens if the rank of my mapping is um, only one. Then what the students or even myself, I will see, okay, it is everything will lie on one line and it is not possible to reach the target point I'm looking for. Otherwise, I can uh, even say, okay, what happens if I try to stay in the zero and if I drag uh, in, the, in the domain of my mapping, uh, looking on the, on, on the right side that I will try not to leave the zero, I will see that something like the kernel will appear here and that seems to be a straight line. Um, this is uh, three examples I'm using uh, during the linear algebra lectures in the first term. Another point is um, the concept of sequences and especially in the, in the third term, we are discussing about a function with several variables. Now it's at the end of the second, but it's not important. And here I adopted um, uh, an applet from the GSX graph example collection um, to sh demonstrate them what is the different be difference between limit and limit point. So here I started to even with two um, text uh, input boxes where I can define a 2D sequence and then I can start uh, the to, to plot uh, the sequence. And now I can drag around this, this point A and I can uh, scale the epsilon um, and I will see, okay, no point will inside um, uh, this circle. And if I re put it there, I will see, okay, um, this is what I'm looking for, but this is uh, not unique. So I will see this is a limit point, but not the, um, the, uh, the limit. Otherwise I can easily change my sequence. I can start again and even I can uh, show the trace and I will see the developing. I can uh, increase it. And now I can explain again what uh, does it mean? This is um, very comfortable to me. And this is not only dedicated uh, to uh, engineering at all, that's right. One 
Another point I like to introduce uh, to the students, even uh, these are engineers, uh, is the Epsilon Delta concept. I know that is one of the uh, most uh, critical things even for mathematicians and um, or the uh, for all Epsilons uh, exists a Delta and so on. This is a very uh, hard stuff. Um, but why I like to use this for my students. Um, if you are thinking about uh, modeling a chemical reaction, uh, then and we will um, we have to take care that the concentration of a, a product um, from my chemical react uh, reaction has to be within a certain range, then I have the same because this is a product of my chemical process. And then I know as a uh, educt I will use in my chemical reaction only may vary less than delta. And so I see directly that this epsilon delta criteria is quite useful. And now, uh, then I had the idea um, to implement this using JSX graph with a control. So you see here, I can change the epsilon and uh, you see here how uh, it will change in the, in the uh, range. And I can change uh, even the delta inside the, um, the domain. And after that, you see, if the criteria is full, full, uh, fulfilled, you, uh, the box will be green. But if the criteria is not fulfilled, uh, the box will be changed to red. Then I can uh, run around as a function graph. And this is even possible with different function. I can directly change here using the Jesse code um, inside this applet. And uh, then you will see it will work and we can figure out um, what does this criteria mean. At this point, I thought on my lectures when elsewhere the professor wrote something on the blackboard and said, okay, let's choose delta as epsilon squared um, multiplied by one over p or something like that. And uh, this is a consequence to do that too. And that's why I modified uh, this applet and I gave the possibility even to provide a function for the delta. And now one will see only the epsilon may be changed here using as a slider and then um, the box will be adjusted according to the function I have uh, used, um, uh, I have given here in this input box. And then I can drag around and I will see, okay, this is not independent uh, from uh, the point I'm looking for. But uh, if you make a short computation there, you see if I use epsilon over um, uh, six, uh, I will get this, uh, what I'm looking for, that the box will be green elsewhere, even here uh, in that uh, point. And um, this is um, for me very fine to introduce this concept. Now, in the last minutes I um, have, I will um, change, uh, I will show or demonstrate um, to um, even to, uh, to applications for differential equations. We already yesterday um, have seen the question of what uh, is this application in the engineering stuff and one big area in is a in teaching engineers is uh, the um, chapter of ordinary um, differential equations. Here you see um, an applet where you can um, type in the equation 
and then you can generate the vector field. And uh, so you quite easily can change um, this um, differential equation. So I will change it now to the logistic uh, differential equation. And uh, then I can change uh, here the vector field. Then I can uh, ask for the solution. And now I can drag uh, one initial point and I will see how uh, the solution will be ch it will change if I drag around this initial point. Even from numerical view, this is sometimes quite interesting because you can uh, change the number um, um, of points uh, points you are using. And as this uh, example, it's a quite stable. So here, nothing. Um, interesting will happen even you you will see here and to take only two points but in the first version you will even see some oscillation and numerical uh, difficulties so that's why you can uh, uh, adjust here as a numerical effort done inside this applet in a different course uh, for uh, masters in uh, process engineering, um, the heat equation is one uh, central point. Uh, here we uh, teach um, uh, the students in the most fundamental steps uh, doing some numerics and uh, you, how to use finite differences and how to solve uh, linear equation systems. And to give them an idea uh, how the solution looks like, I provided um, a JSX graph applet 2, where this equation you will see here is solved with a constant right hand side. And uh, you have a left side with a given temperature, this RL. The left side is um, if uh, maybe change and even the, the right uh, end of the interval. And then we have three dimensions. This uh, equation describes, uh, for instance, uh, the distribution of the temperature in the cylinder of a tube. And this is a inner uh, radius and this is the outer radius. And this can be done for a plate or for a bar, for a cylinder and a sphere. And you, this, all this I have, um, I could add into one uh, applet. And now you can change here the discretization points. And you see this is a linear solution for the plate without uh, heat, um, e, uh, which will uh, induce inside the interval. I can change the interval here because uh, the left hand side has to be greater than zero. I even check uh, that is at least uh, one uh, uh, 0.01 and it will. Uh, um, go back, but you see I have uh, forgotten to make an update there. Then I can change uh, the geometry um, and I can change here even as a, um, is there a constant heating or cooling inside that field and uh, what, uh, what is missing now is, is a reference solution. It is possible to compute here the um, analytic solution. At the end, I will change the stuff. And this is uh, a bit um, uh, already in one of the next talks, how to teach um, our statistics using JSX graph. And we have developed in the last few months um, even just uh, uh, some parts of it. Um, here you will see a box plot where you can uh, drag around uh, some uh, uh, the points, only the y co the x coordinate is using as data set. And then you will see, um, oh, here's just, uh, here's still an error inside, I see. Um, you, you, uh, you see how in which way this box plot will uh, change if I change the data set or even I can add uh, some new data 
and can use this data set. And you will see if one point will appear several times, then it, uh, it is stacked. Um, and uh, you can see this uh, here. And one of the, um, this we have even done for the mean value and the median. This is uh, where I will uh, stop with. Um, there's even uh, an, a version with an input available where I can see I can, uh, if I use the median with uh, some, with data in a broad range, the median and the mean value will be uh, quite far away from each other. And um, so this is just a small, some examples I'm using in my teaching. At that point, I will uh, take, uh, I will say great thanks uh, to the JSX graph uh, team, especially to Alfred who supported me always if I was not able uh, to uh, program my own applets and to some uh, um, colleagues of mine, Manu Wendel and Andreas Rete who uh, which made some reali realization of some of these applets. And so I will close now and I hope I'm still a bit in time. Thank you.